Trouble is brewing in the tropics, folks. We may have a tropical storm that is going to be possibly impacting the United States late this weekend, early next week. Could even have some impact here in the state of Florida. I'm keeping you updated with the very latest, especially on our Twitter account at WRUF Weather and, of course, on WRUF TV Cox Channel 6 here in Alachua County with your weather on the sixes every 10 minutes. And then, of course, your tropical update at 20 and 50 past. Invest 95L is what it was called late winter. Wednesday. It will soon be called Tropical Storm Jerry. There's high confidence on that. Hurricane Hunters will fly out into the system Thursday afternoon. We'll bring that data live on our Twitter account and on the TV side as well. And uh, this system is likely to stall. Notice all these squiggly lines here. These models, they're kind of all confused and it may sit here for a couple of days. That's seven days worth of model lines there for you. So it would be about five or six days if these models come true before it impacts us here in the United States. Likely to be named Jerry. It either stalls and I I could have wrote and or moves north. Depends on how this front coming in interacts with it. But no matter what, hear me out, no matter what happens with this system, the tropical moisture will likely be pulled in our direction for at least a brief round of some heavy rain. Timing on that a bit in question, most likely Sunday, Sunday night. Now let's back up. How about your Thursday? Have you noticed the change in the air mass? It was pleasant to start. It's going to be a nice afternoon. There will be some clouds coming through, though, with this onshore Atlantic flow. Maybe a sprinkle or two, but most areas will miss that. And it temperatures only reaching the upper 80s. Really typical weather for mid-September, and we've taken the humidity down quite a bit as well. Should be a nice evening if you can put up with some clouds passing through and a breeze at times that'll be up around 10 to 12 miles per hour. Now back out to the tropics because notice that drier air that we have coming in Thursday. Uh, then the moisture stays to our south and to our west through Saturday. Boy, that's important, isn't it, Gator fans? Look at all this green, though. It gets pulled north and east ahead of this front Sunday, Sunday night. This particular model leaves the tropical system behind. We've been waffling back and forth on this, whether or not the front pulls it up in our direction. If it moves in our direction, it wouldn't be very strong but it would have a lot more moisture with it. No matter what, though, as I mentioned, the forecast, at least the five-day rain tracker, showing some heavy rain out there, especially in the Panhandle, the Big Bend region, stretching down to Fort Myers here in Gainesville and much of north-central Florida could get a one- to three-inch soaker out of this, and that's if the tropical storm does not come ashore. If it does move in our direction, we will be upping those amounts, of course. Here's your updated six-day. Gorgeous through Friday, Saturday. I'm going to tell you more about that in just a second. It's Sunday, Sunday night early Monday right now, we think we'd have to watch the tropics. So Gator fans, tailgating, 85, not bad. Kickoff, about 88. Heat index, not quite as bad as it was a couple of weeks ago. And showers developing possibly by evening. Stay tuned.